What's up folks? I'm with Kirk Inswaller of Mercury Marine and we are looking at a behemoth behind us. That is the uh, new, I'm gonna say this the wrong way, but it's a 600 horsepower Mercury Verado. This is a bad mama jama. So break this uh, technology down for us because I'm seeing some things here that are a little bit different, especially in the prop area. Yeah, so first and foremost, we have the steerable gear case. The wonderful thing about the steerable gear case yeah. is it gives us the ability to put the engines on a 27 inch center to center. So we're saving a lot of transom space. Don't so everything even... is closer because you don't have those turns that could cause them to bump. Correct. Okay. So other competitors, their engines have to be spaced farther apart, takes up a lot more room on the transom. Yeah. Um, it also enables the engine to appear very sleek while you're running the boat. She is bad. Yeah, you don't. Stay straight. It stays straight, doesn't turn. So. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat phenomenon. It almost uh, tricks your mind a little bit when you see it. I bet it does. Now, the name again of that tech is called what? So we just call it a steerable gear case. We don't have steerable a- Steerable gear case. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Now it's got, I noticed it's got two props as well. Is that a trend that everybody's gonna be doing or like what's the purpose behind that? So it's not the first marine engine to have dual props. Right. We've had dual props say on our Stern Drive Bravo 3 product, our Zeus pods have uh, twin props right. and have been around for decades. So the technology has been around for quite a while. This is the first time it's appeared on a Mercury outboard. Uh, the reason for it is number one, you can get more bite out of the water with dual props with a smaller diameter propeller because you still have the same amount of blade surface, but on two smaller props instead of one giant propeller. Yeah. So it really helps the 600 horsepower grab that water and push the boat. Yeah. The other advantage to the dual propellers is they're contra rotating. So what this does is it offsets the torque of each other. So the engine can drive the boat through the water much more smoothly. If you look at a standard- Counter rotating props, super interesting. Yeah. Like somebody's much smarter than me. <laughs> like, uh, right, it's cool. just, just experience. Yeah, but yeah. If you look at a, uh, a boat with multiple single prop engines on it, you'll notice that one of them is right hand rotation, the other is left hand. And it does the same thing as offsetting the torque, but the V12 does it self-contained on its own. So 600 horsepower, I don't know if y'all are the first to do 600 outboard. Like what is like, I know it's an arms race of horsepower in the outboard space right now. So tell like, what's that journey been like for Merc? Uh, Mercury has always been about trying to find the next thing that's gonna advance the industry, whether yeah. it's 600 horsepower or our new electric evader engines. We're always looking for what's gonna advance the industry. As far as horsepower goes right now, the next best engine is 150 horsepower below us. So, so we are you're the, the king, this is the leader. king of the industry oh, yeah. right now. It's the big dog. Yes. <laughs> we are we are the heavyweight champion of horsepower right now and there's no one else even in our class with this engine. Yeah, so so what has the interest been like from the market from from the manufacturers? Like what are you hearing? What's the vibe out there? So I've I've been it's it's uh this engine it's been out released for almost a little over 2 years. Yeah. We announced it February 11th, 2021. So it's been on the market for over two years. It's still an attention catcher. I mean, as you can see, it's front and center of the Mercury booth. Yeah, yeah. So, and there's tons of interest in it. The boat builders love it. The customers who've been on the boats with it and own boats with it, love it. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, to, I can talk about it, but yeah, until you ride bad. in one and you see what this two-speed transmission can do with that 600 horsepower, the steerable gear case and the twin propellers, Words do not do it justice. So final question for you, and you can't give me an exact here, but rough MSRP these days for this V12, 600 horsepower Verado is what? So go, again, ballpark, yeah, and it just depends. Ballpark. I know models, it's gonna change. Yeah, so roughly around 80, 85,000 per inch. Amazing, this is so, so cool. Kirk, thank you so much for sharing us this uh, 600 horses, y'all. <laughs> thank you. All right, thanks, man, that was great.